today is Monday. I think it's the 13th. April, uh, August. 13th. 2023. Um. Oh, Talmuda. Tal Talmudic. Lol. Does that have anything to do with it? The tail of a cow. Tail moo. Dick. Law. I don't know. I just thought of it. I heard Benu talk about it. <laughs> the Talmudic law. You got the you got dictators. You got Nordics. You got Talmudics. You got um, bunch of dicks that run certain things that need to not be there anymore. You got characters that are just so irritating. And I try not to get my feelings attached to irritating characters on YouTube because I always think, well, what if that person is actually so-and-so? Uh, and it's just their other character that, you know, from the beginning they, they have to, <clears throat> maybe their heart changed. <laughs> It and but they still have their character that they have to play out like Christopher Green for instance one it one of the most prideful stiff neck arrogant lying uh, deceiving deceivers the all right, so you're, you're sending money to him, right? Because of the island project. And he's over there. He's going to fix the island. Really? Christopher Green. You're going to fix the island of Hawaii, Maui. It got completely burned up. You know, besides your house, of course. Every other house around you. But your house is perfectly fine. <clears throat> you keep talking about your wife and your, your dad and your kid and everything. I've never seen a wife. You must be talking about your wife. It's inside of your body, if anything. And the, the woman, or maybe it's your kid. I remember something about the people of ancient times and are they uh, some some of these women are really small. They're just petite, four foot, you know, whatever, the same size as your kid. And they may just be wearing kid suits and acting like they're your children, but it's really your woman. I don't know. I just I heard about it before. <clears throat> this whole <clears throat> this whole world is just it's just a sickening. That's what it is. But I try to find the positives out of out of the negatives. So all of Maui burned up. And Christopher Green, like, all right. So you're you're distraught. You're uh, you're living there, and your entire island just burned up. And then <clears throat> the first thing you do is you go on, come on, you go on Donuts Channel, right as the the. Basically, it's like the first interview since it happened. What does Christopher Green do? Who got robbed of Bitcoin? Well, just got off hundreds of thousands of Bitcoin. Uh, hoorah. Oh, hey, Christopher. I'm so glad that you're okay over there. Uh, yeah. Sounds very distraught, huh? I think a lot of it may just may be... CGI and uh, Hollywood actors are all over there and I don't know I just feel like I feel like it's just not what maybe it's parts of the island that you may have burned up a little bit to get people to leave like regular people but the let's just say 95% of the people there 
are all gang stalkers. They all have the communication to do certain things because they're they're either actors or they're or they're um, extras in movies and <clears throat> and they're all um, they're just all in on it. I wouldn't really know unless if I was down there and I seen it with my own eyes. Because other than that, it's hard to believe anything that you hear and see. But <clears throat> the one thing about Christopher Green is he, I mean, he, he, he got washed up on that empty island. I mean, uh, he, no, he, well, he was already over there. But I'd say probably in 2018, he probably had gotten washed up. <clears throat> on an empty beach because it was around the time 70th year anniversary nation of Israel becoming a nation again and he even said it like Christ people ask me Christopher how is it that you went from your mom's basement to last year to island project in Hawaii uh, how did that happen how did you get washed up on an empty beach Christopher Green but now he truly has been washed up on an empty island island beach water you know when you two sings the songs he wasn't specific about which beach because it it sounded like he was referring to Jonah being washed up on an empty beach because maybe Jonah was also the betrayer like Judas, Jonah, Judas I don't really know, it's just similar <clears throat> and everything that comes out of his mouth is a bunch of horse malarkey and on top of that he's literally Marina Abramovic 96% match the face even though they're all face masks but I believe that Marina Abramovic's face mask lines up with <clears throat> Christopher Green's face mask and um, however many other characters here's why I don't attach too many feelings to Christopher Green because I thought this before you know how um, certain people seem to act like they just, there's different chat like Chad Booksam John from Denver you showed some guy that just looked like Chad Booksam he had small like him he uh, <clears throat> he sounded like him and and he was he had Derek Burroughs on his background about what he said or something like that and considering Derek Burroughs and Chad Booksam and AMTV and the Donut and Mark Fugel and Jacob Israel. I thought, what if Derek Burroughs was all of them wrapped up in one? Because I did, I I did videos where it was me, Ruben, and uh, Henry, all in the same room together, talking different times as if we're all there. But we really, it was really just me. So I was testing that out to see if that was true. So sometimes, and then you gotta remember, the Witch of Hollywood is, <clears throat> well, it's Christopher Green. I mean, that's, that's who it is. But who is Marina Abramovic, the Witch of Hollywood, and Debbie Harry? Like Harry, Prince Harry. There were some times that that uh, and I mean you can tell me I'm wrong Derek you do still have my number but uh, <clears throat> there were times where I thought man I, Christopher Green kind of reminds me of Derek Bros in a, in a sense that certain just eye movements right certain movements and, and it, so if I if I even think that 
because I love Derek Burroughs. I love at least Derek Burroughs, the character of Derek. So even if he was some other character that's like just irritating to death, it wouldn't bother me because I would I would understand that it's a it's a show. Everybody's actors. I, I'm finding my way in the acting scene at some point with my performances of the people that I've come across on YouTube. And um, so I, I understand that people have to still play their roles. And Christopher Green is probably a really decent uh, person. It's just that character is... Oh, man. I, and the same thing with you, Jacob. It's like 75-25. I love him 75% of the times. I hate him 25%. Because, just be, I guess because of the lying of, you know, I don't know anything. I don't have any inside knowledge. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying. It's like, oh, you're all saying exactly what you're acting like you're not saying. And on top of that, nothing's easy on this planet when you're just dropped off and left alone your entire life. You gotta fend for yourself. <clears throat> and then Christopher Green over there, all excited that he, he had to take care of some things first, which is burn down an entire uh, Hawaiian island. Because it didn't happen naturally if it even was burnt down because you know what they were doing he was saying that they were rebuilding it immediately that's because there's something called the island project and he just happened to be there on that island <laughs> oh man what what timing is that huh an empty beach it, when it's burned up, it's empty. It's people have have gotten ghost. They left. They left the island. So it seems like the island is Christopher Green's, and now he's gonna suck everybody's money out of them, if they're even given any money. Really, I mean, I, maybe he's just setting it up. But uh, the money's not gonna go to anybody besides his pocket or his bank account. Because he reminds me of Judas. He definitely does. But he reminds me of Judas, who is somebody else from the beginning since I started my YouTube channel. And it was just another another bodysuit face mask. I mean, Jonathan Kleck definitely knows who Marina Bramovic is and Debbie Harry. Because it could be the two of him. It could be the two twins. It's the male. It's the female. It's the system. If you talk about Marina all the time. And Debbie Harry. And the Witch of Hollywood. And I feel like John DeClick runs Hollywood. And I feel like Derek Bros runs Hollywood. He turns millionaires into billionaires. How do you do that? Well, you get them to bow down. And then now, take their money. I mean, if Christopher Green is taking rich people's money, and then, he's, and then he shares it to the poor, that would be great. But it doesn't seem like his character has that mentality. I have that mentality. If I had... A way to get people's rich people's money I can spread it to the people that don't have it but I just don't have that authority just yet I have the power I just don't have the authority <clears throat> there's a difference the power is something I've already established things that I can do with the power that I uh, generated and then just the power that I've accumulated from showing you that it's me that YouTube had taken my footage and put it in their music videos random shuffle all eight songs and these are just straight facts that you can't prove in 
any kind of normal human court. It would have to be a spiritual court. And so I know it's people like Steve Manoon who's probably the ultimate judge in this system because if he's anything like Noah building the ark, the ark, the YouTube platform, the temple police the, in the Bible, the, the guards and Pharisees and Sadducees and with the Talmud, moo, moo, uh, tail moo, dick wall. The Noah Hyde law, Noah Hyde. I uh, I seen a great commercial the other day. Yes, last night. It was about the chickens getting their heads cut off. That is so funny. <laughs> so funny. Cause he's like, I heard, I heard, uh, our, our brethren uh, are getting their uh, going to the old chopping block. And he's like, the one chicken's looking at the other chicken that just said it. He's like, he's like, why? And he looked at him for like five seconds and said, because we're chickens. <laughs> it had nothing to do with being a physical chicken, just a chicken shit, getting your head, going, taking your head to the uh, the old chopping block because no hide laws. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> Some funny stuff. I forgot what I was talking about. I mean, the direction I was going. Oh, the art museum footage and stuff. I've de demonstrated the, the power that I have through the, the ability to show you that it's my footage. It's just what they used somehow from the past. I'll never stop harping on it because it's the most amazing thing uh, on earth. And I get to be the person that it happened to. And so for people like Steve Benoon, who may be the ultimate judge of this system, because in the YouTube, in the YouTube world, you can be looked at as the Lord of hosts. You can be looked at as Satan himself. And because everybody 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 has their role to play. It's been scripted. And I just happen to hop into it and figure things out and lo and behold, YouTube made their videos about me 30 years ago about my footage specifically my wife is in it in room 100 she's pointing at the show notes there's some finger pointing at the show notes then then I start sh showing you Jesus writing on the ground drawing a line in the sand Bono leaning down as if he's drawing a line in the in the sand then I start to turn him up. I turn Jesus up. Now he's writing on the wall. He's writing. It's a man's hand. It says, "It says Christopher Green, meeny meeny tekel up Harson. Your days are numbered. Whoever you are, uh, wh however many other characters you are, your time's up. Uh, Belshazzar's time's up. Ahab's time's up." because the writing's on the wall and and the song I will be with you again as the, as it shows my wife my wife's fingers turning the page on the book you know I've I've accepted just about everything I've accepted my wife could be cheating on me and, and could be having a secret lit relationship with someone named Michael uh, because, you know, Michael's supposed to be some kind of angel or something, but he's really a devil. And... But at some point... You know, you have to let people go. you got to let people do what they want to do. You can't force them to do anything. 
But once you realize that I am the only one that truly does love you. The only one that really, actually, truly does. But I do it in a way that's different, that you can't see it until until you finally do. Until you understand how. And then go in directions. <laughs> My wife's going to uh, Nashville this weekend with her best friend, Lisa, what she told me. I said, look, honey, I understand. If you don't come back and you find some, uh, you know, some singer and he buys you a brand new car and you don't have to work for a living, I, I get it. But just know this. That's what's going to happen in the very near future where it's never been done before by anybody on the planet. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then you'll see at that time. So even if you went and left... Remember that song? You were there. It was the art museum. It was your birthday. It was on 323-2023. When we're in the room, the bookstore, as you're turning the page and your hands are being shown, Bono says, I will be with you again. Because being with you again means after the separation. Even God separated from Israel. Because he went out horn. But once they come back, once they finally realize and come back to their first true love, then they stop horn with anybody else. So that's why it doesn't. That's why I look at it that way. It doesn't. It doesn't even bother me if that's the case because it's a fleshly thing. Satan runs people's flesh. I understand. It's it's your flesh. But once you're done doing your fleshly thing. You know, you still have 23 hours and a half or 23 and 40 minutes or 50 minutes to the rest of the day to do what? You get your fleshly uh, desires out of the way and then you have the rest of the day. What do you do? greatest thing that can happen on planet earth with me would be to, to continue what I'm doing, take it to the seventh year, and then get rewarded for the work that I did that was un, unseen by the naked eye, it, uncomprehended. If you're still saying I'm like in your head, you may not even say it out loud. When I keep talking about the art museum footage and telling you that it's that's my footage that you two use in our videos 30 plus years ago because it's identical. And it's you can't just keep with the coincidences. It just doesn't, at some point you gotta just give in and say, all right, it's definitely your footage, Robin. It's just definitely yours. I can't explain it either. Because you still can. But it is your footage. So at some point, they need to compensate you, right? Yes, that's correct. The amount of things that... It, they're miracles. They're just... It's even just wishing John the Clegg a happy birthday on his birthday, 2020. And then the stock market crashes 3,000 points. It actually tumbled. It's exactly what I said it would do. In the title. It did for the first time and it was the worst in the, in the entire history of existence and I only predicted it for that one day and it happened to be John Clegg's birthday so it, those things and then to find out I go to the art museum after Clegg kept trying to get me to go in there because he was talking about going to that building with the wind blades because there's wind blades at the front of the building the flags up the rocky steps I finally went into the building with the wind blades and my goodness look what I found I found a Back to the Future is what I found in there. I found Michael J. Fox. And even in the videos that I didn't even, that I, the songs that I played but didn't have videos, even though I was 
playing a random shuffle in the X app, walking through, and I go back and match those videos with my footage, all of it lines up still. I, it's just like you can't make this stuff up. So, at some point that pays off, and there's you can't, it's like birth pains. You can't, you just can't hide it anymore. Because I can make it so obvious and so ridiculously obvious that it's my footage and that's me and that's who you two surrounded their videos with. So when I say that and you still think, huh, Robin Soap, oh my goodness. <laughs> no, it's true. If somebody has been watching my videos from the beginning and you still aren't convinced as I'm showing the art museum footage and everything else, it's only because the devil has your heart. It's just because he is blinding you and you can't see it. And that's it. It's not, it doesn't mean you're evil, it just means the devil has your heart. He, he has you deceived. Because he will tell you that's impossible, which it is. Therefore, it becomes a miracle. And I heard last year, or I heard a few months ago, Kim Jean, he was talking about hanging in there for another year. So I think he was trying to give me the timeline because I was asking 2024. Stephen James seems to say it's 2024, the second crossing in April, six days after my seventh year, 76. That would be nice. Maybe July 4th. To the 24th or something along the lines of that nature 2024 but I don't know how it's supposed to happen I, I it could be this 9-11 coming up it seemed like Skip was uh, talking about that second 9-11 and being here in Philly standing on top of Mount Carmel once Philly's destroyed and guess what I didn't think that Philadelphia would actually get nuked or destroyed or blown up or Maui is completely incinerated, right? All right, well, if I don't believe it, then, and it happens here in Philly and I see it with my own eyes, then I'm going to finally believe it and say, Philadelphia, you have a little bit of strength. Liberty One. And Liberty 2 are the Twin Towers. <laughs> they are the targets, both of them. Male, female system, twin female system. <clears throat> so if you're sending money to Christopher Green it's not going to go anywhere I don't believe it is I don't believe he even needs money how why would Marina Abramovic need money the witch of Hollywood which, which what? if you're the witch of Hollywood then you, you're like someone that runs Hollywood and so I just feel like a bunch of actors are over in Maui and they're all acting things out and making it seem worse than what it really is. And you can't get into the island. If you can barely get out, you're not getting in. Did anybody really die? Probably not. Probably not. But for the sake that people did then if their life was taken early isn't that a, a, a free ticket to heaven when you get killed by Satan I just think you should just go to heaven because you don't have, you didn't have it even if you were sinning at some point or whatever you, you didn't have a chance to 
repent from things because sometimes people repent at the end of their lives or later on so if you didn't have time to do it and you your life was taken short just like Bowie same thing like like that and then uh, considering that Satan has has us while we live on this earth first and we think that this is all that there is it's just because Satan gets first dibs once you leave this flesh God's the one that created your soul he gets it back yeah he can do what he wants with it he can uh, send you to the lake of fire and burn you up but remember he's a merciful God so because he understands he created your soul Satan creates your spirit because he works in the children that are disobedient which is pretty much almost everybody on planet earth because they're all controlled by some type of communication system I don't know exactly how but they all show me that they just they just know 